Barbecue ribs are a summer favorite. They take a little time to prepare, but the rewards are well worth it. I'll show you what kind of ribs to buy and how to cook them so they fall off the bone. There are many types of ribs, and here are some very popular varieties. First, short ribs are small rectangles of beef, about two by three inches. They're made of layers of meat and fat and contain pieces of the bone. They're tougher than other types of ribs, but become tender and delicious when cooked for a few hours. Spare ribs are very flavorful, and they're best grilled slowly on a low heat to bring out the flavor of the pork. And finally, baby back ribs, which I'll be cooking today, are lean and tender and take less time to cook. They're also called Canadian back ribs or pork loin back ribs. There are many ways to prepare ribs. You can marinate them in craft dressing, or you can massage a dry rub into the meat. Really just as easy as that. These are great methods for leaner varieties like spare ribs or baby back ribs. Today I'll be simmering baby back ribs and then finishing them off on the grill. This method also works for short ribs, but they require a little longer cooking time. Now a great way to add extra flavor into your ribs is to add seasoning to your liquid. So I have some water here in a pot, and now I'm going to add in some onion, garlic clove, salt, and peppercorns. And I'm also going to add in a couple of bay leaves. Now just place your ribs into the water. So just fit them in. Now I have about four pounds of ribs here. Fit it in, and then the other one right on top. Now cover with more cold water. Now if you don't have a big enough pot, you can cut the rib racks into smaller pieces. Now cover with the lid and bring it to a boil. So reduce the heat to medium low. And you'll notice a foam rising to the top of the liquid. Don't worry, this is totally normal. So just use a spoon and skim off the foam. I like to use a metal spoon because it kind of clings to it. Perfect. Then cover and simmer for 20 minutes. I removed the ribs from the water. Now it's onto the preheated grill. We're going to cook these for about 10 minutes or until they're cooked through. It's always really important to remember to preheat the grill. Now I'm going to brush these with Kraft Original Barbecue Sauce or Bullseye Original Barbecue Sauce. Just brush on a little bit and then cook them long enough to allow for the sauce to start to caramelize and add extra flavor to the ribs. Perfect. We're going to let these cook for 10 minutes, then we're going to turn them over and then baste the other side. Okay, these should be just about done. I'm going to flip them over one more time and give a final basting. Wow, they look fantastic. See nice grill marks? Perfect. So just a little bit more barbecue sauce and then they're ready to serve. Try these mouth-watering ribs at your next backyard barbecue.